Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, and zebras, gypsies, and she. Um, I was just thinking of something. Um, my last video, I gave my daughter a list of people. I should have listed some women on there, and I just wasn't thinking about that at the time. But, um, Paglia. Look up Paglia. You can find a video with, um, Dr. Peterson, Dr. Jordan Peterson interviewing Paglia. Uh, I believe she's a Canadian professor. I'm not particularly fond of the way she speaks uh, because uh, 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 I don't like that and you know she's a very well educated woman uh, and you, I, I would not expect that out of somebody that well educated. Although She's somebody to look into. I don't know if she's somebody to... Well, I guess we can learn from everybody. You know, we really can. So anyway, what I wanted to talk about is from this list uh, in the last few weeks, I heard someone say something. Oh, there is somebody I forgot to put on that list. can't remember his name, but... Um, Anyway, um, I can't remember his name, but he said something like, you know, we have the fattest poor people on the planet. And then a friend of mine, my, my sister, was, we were talking on email, and, um, you know, she said something about how people here in this country, they go to the, to, to the food pantry, and they get vegetables or fruit or something that, that, I happen to like vegetables and fruit, but not everybody does. But, you know, they're good for you, and they taste good. Um, are there vegetables I don't like? Sure. But I can buy the vegetables I do like. I happen to like green beans quite a bit. I actually love green beans. I make myself a chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, and green beans, and you get a big, what they call a Texas toast. Uh, here we would call it an Irish toast. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, we have the fattest poor people on the planet, it seems. Well, I've lived in Europe, Asia, and the United States. And I visited many countries that I haven't lived in. I, I've been to Mexico, I've been to Canada, I have not lived in either of those countries. But I have visited them. I have never lived in the Netherlands. But I have visited the Netherlands. I never lived in Austria or Switzerland or France or Andorra. But I have been to those countries. Now let's go to my homeland of Spain. In Spain under Franco. Even if you were middle class. You are very, very poor by American standards. And you probably didn't have enough to eat. I have photographs. I have slides. Everybody's freaking skinny and short. There's a reason everybody's skinny and short. is because they didn't have enough food to eat. I don't know if they were starving. At least not to death. But they didn't have enough food to eat. Um, Mexico it's the same way but then you come to the United States and you know you can be on welfare in the United States and be lower middle class economically I'm lower economic class I weigh just under 200 pounds and I'd say I'm doing okay. You know, I may have food that I'm not particularly fond of, but I ain't going to starve. I am not going to starve. I also have food that I really, really like. Well, I don't have any right now that I really, really like. I mean, we don't even have potatoes or onions for me to... Uh, 
to make some french fries or potato chips or onion rings you know we just you know but we're not going to starve look if i had to if either one of us had to we could go over there into the pantry get something and we could eat does it mean it's you know the greatest thing on the planet no you go to venezuela go to cuba uh go to china you know to the former soviet union the former eastern bloc uh they weren't eating all that well they didn't have you know the food the resources that we had in the united states and at the time in canada and to a large extent western europe uh, excluding of course spain because at least during the during franco's era after franco died it still took a few years for things to really start to change once things started changing I, I, and it just, things are uh, life is in flux okay it's always in flux you know the united states is in, is changing but it's all life is change and anyway it took a long time for things to really change in Spain. Long time. You know, so those of us that are called old Spaniards, for some reason, were resented by the by the new or the young Spaniards, and um, there's really no reason for that in my book. But you know, what was it three World Cups ago we won? So. You know, we're going to win again, too. I just don't know when. Sad we have to wait every four, was it two years for World Cup? Four years? Too bad we have to wait. It'd be nice to have World Cup every week, but then it wouldn't be that fun because I'd get bored with it. I didn't even watch a match this year. Can you believe that? Usually when World Cup's on, I'm right there in front of the boob tube. I'm watching that thing, but... Um, this year I didn't even watch a single match. Of course, Ireland wasn't in it because of the, the how do you say, the, the curse. Spain probably wasn't going to win. Why was I watching? Why would I watch it? You know, my, my two clubs, one club wasn't even in, and the other one because of the curse, you know. But I think, I don't remember, I think Spain may have done pretty well. But anyway, so... You know, even people like um, El Cordoba. Last time I checked, he was still alive. We have home movies of El Cordoba. I detest bullfighting. Just to make that clear, I detest bullfighting. And maybe it's a generational thing, but, you know, I grew up with El Cordoba being the greatest bullfighter, you know, the greatest matador on the planet. And he actually... Um, was uh, presented to the public with one of the female bullfighters, one of the great female bullfighters. But, you know, in, in my day, we didn't have women who were bullfighters. It, just, it didn't happen. You, know, um, you have to remember that Franco and, and Hitler were more or less allies. You know, Franco and Mussolini were more or less allies. A lot of Nazis after the war, went to Spain. Uh, Scorsese, I think, was his name. The, he was the head of the Nazi special ops unit. He, he went to Spain. That's where he died. He had a big funeral over there. You know, the Nazis assisted Franco in gaining control during the Spanish Civil War. Mm. So sad. But yeah, you look at Venezuela, you look at Cuba, you look at uh, Spain under Franco, you look at China. Yeah, then people want those systems here. People say, well, uh, Cuba has the greatest health care system in, on the planet. No, they don't. Uh, that's the Cuban government saying that. They're telling the United Nations that. So the United Nations publishes that. The UN does not go through and... and um, look at the details to see if what the information they're receiving is true or not. They just publish what they're given. Um, but there's a video, uh, and now I'm thinking of another guy I should have mentioned to my daughter, but um, 
there's a video of um, I can't remember his name I think he used to be on 2020 and then he went over to Fox um, I think I have one of his books um, but he went to Cuba and he videotaped the Cuban medical facilities that, that was nasty that was really filthy and nasty that was gross I mean it was sickening. I, I got sick that that was that was nasty yes they have a this this, this great big you know skyscraper kind of hospital um, I guess in Havana I don't I don't know um, but it's for foreigners and the politically connected and there are very few of those so you can get great health care in Cuba if you're filthy rich and politically connected or if you're a filthy rich foreigner but if you're an average Cuban you're not going to get it um, Venezuela people are being shot in the streets right in front of cops and they just walk on there's video of that I've seen video of that somebody gets shot a cop sees it just ignores that it happened and just keeps going on about his day and these people are, are, are losing weight yet here in the United States I, 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 I said I'm almost 200 pounds and I'm poor I live under the poverty level yet I'm almost 200 pounds so what system do you want do you want a system where everybody is poor except like half of 1% and everybody except for that half of 1% is malnourished goes to bed hungry wakes up hungry goes to work hungry ends their lunch hungry ends their dinner and and breakfast hungry is that what you want if it is go to Cuba go to Venezuela go to China go to North Korea uh, you know go someplace like that but don't you know put that on us over here